So, I always refer to my apartment as uh, more like my prison because I always keep myself locked up in here. Um, in a way, think about it as a metaphor type of thing. Kind of like what you see in a Disney movie, the princess is locked up in a tower and she's waiting for someone to come save her. Well, I'm locked up in that tower and set in a more modern apartment type of way, but no one's going to save me. I have to do it myself. Um, and that's what's scaring me. I, over the past year, it's like gradually, little by little, I've been starting to become aware of things, um, aware of what my depression was doing to me this whole time, making reckless decisions, all the self-harming that I just assumed was the only right thing to do. But now I'm seeing that my depression has been running my life for years. Um, this is definitely not a notebook, but, uh, well, actually, it used to be, but the page is kind of tore out, so that's why I use an actual journal now instead of just using a composition notebook. But anyway, this is like my journals from entries from 2005, and in this, cause especially lately, the past few months, I've been trying to figure out how long have I really been depressed, and in here, it, I don't specifically say that I'm depressed but I I say that I I do say that I do feel depressed but I don't say that I have depression because at the time I didn't know that depression even existed um I also mentioned how different ways I could kill myself and trust me I tried it in different ways and I'm still here, which sucks, but hey, I have to get over it. Um, so I, that, this is from 2005. So I've pretty much been depressed. And I know I've had some depression in high school, because it started with loneliness, and then I guess along the way, more and more things started being added to it. Um, but... It wasn't until my mid-twenties that I even realized I did have depression. And even then, I don't believe that. Sometimes I, I'm still surprised now that I've had depression pretty much most of this time. I even took like this quiz thing that you can do on medical websites and stuff to find out if you have depression. And both times, it mentioned that I'm severely depressed. So the question is, what do I do about it? I'm aware of it, but at this point, if I don't do anything about it, then um, my life is really going to go bad. At least now I know what I have and I'm able to do with it. So yesterday I wanted to at least, you have to understand, I've been isolating myself in this apartment for years. An apartment that's really not safe to be in in the first place. Um, and literally, I would go to the blinds, you know, uh, peek what's out there, see if anyone's or whatever's going out there. I'll come sit back down. Because, like I said, fear runs in my life. I have social anxiety disorder and a major depressive disorder. And I let that run my life for years. Despite the fact that I'm really not safe in this apartment, I feel safe from the world. But here's the thing, as I'm becoming more... It's kind of weird to explain, but I feel like my as severely depressed as I am, I also feel like it's starting to, to weaken a little bit. Like it's starting to fade. Slightly. But I have to do a lot of work to make sure it goes away as much as possible. So yesterday, I just went out and walked. Most people would say that's nothing, and really, it really isn't. But to me, that's an accomplishment because I'm not spending all day in my apartment, wasting away, trying to think of ways to kill myself. 
I am outside observing life as much as little life as I could anyway. See actually what I was gonna do is just go to this park in downtown St. Paul, which is right in front of this library that I didn't even know was a library till like a couple of days ago. Um but they, my social anxiety kicked in because there was a lot of people there and um there were groups of people there so I just I did go there but I just went through it. I didn't sit down at a bench, I didn't yeah, I mean, so, I just, I walked, I walked through different streets, and, um, streets I've never been on before, because I feel like I just stick to a couple of them, and then don't do anything different, so, I thought I'd explore other areas around here, and I went pretty far, maybe a few couple of miles by foot, I mean, I did take the, lot, uh, the bus to downtown, but I just walked the rest of the way, and, it gets worse because I started taking pictures. Um, I say worse because I'm further trying to get my mind off of the bad thoughts. Um, so with this camera, I started taking pictures, and um, I love photography. I loved it in high school, and I wish at the time maybe I should have thought of this as a career, but I don't know. I guess I didn't really care. Wish it. <laughs> and one of the main things about depression is that you don't care about anything anymore. So that gets me to believe I've been depressed a lot longer than I realized. But anyway. Uh, so. I was taking pictures of this Catholic church. It's a really beautiful place. Or I didn't go inside. I just took a few pictures on the outside, um, and then I'm on the way, I went through this gorgeous neighborhood, and it gets even worse here, as I'm walking down this peaceful area, really beautiful, especially now, because it's fall now, October, well, I went yesterday, so yesterday was the 4th, today's the 5th, but, um, it, it's just a really gorgeous place, some of the leaves are yellow, some of them are orange, orangey reddish type of color it's real it's really nice and when i was going through this neighborhood i was actually thinking about my future um but in the for the first time in many many years i was actually only thinking about the positive and i always joke around that positive thoughts give me cramps which it didn't but I always just joke around like that, because I joke like that, though, because positive thoughts are weird. I'm just, it's just odd when you focus on anything except for what you're used to thinking, your point of view of thinking, and mine is always negative, so. But for once, I was thinking on the positive side. Um, like, what will it be like if a few years from now, Assuming I go back to school, I, I just, everything's too, I, I'm in a kind of a cliffhanger moment where I just don't know how things are going to turn out right now. But what if a few years from now, after I graduate college and um, I get a nice successful job, I could own my own house, finally own a car, which I really didn't care about until recently. Um, I can really truly get my independence back, an independent life I've lost throughout the years because of my reckless decisions. Um, I was just thinking, well, I can do my own thing, clean my own place, uh, go drive whatever in my own car, that would have been really nice. I'm nowhere near in that position, but who knows, maybe a few years from now. Um, I, like I said, I'm kind of in that cliffhanger position in life where I, too, too little and too much is going on at the same time to know how things are going to turn out. So, for now, I'm just, at least I pushed myself out there. To not hide in my apartment all day. But this is going to take a lot of work. Because when I went through that park, all I 
can think of is these people are staring at me, they're looking at me, please get out of this park now. What if they're going to do something? I get all these negative thoughts when I'm around people. So trust me, I'm nowhere near success. Um, I did. Maybe I should put the pictures I took at the end of the video. Or this vlog, you know. Uh, I don't know. Uh, just to kind of share where I was. and It's, it's actually... It's actually really nice. I mean, I'm no good photographer, but hopefully someday I will be. Um, that's actually, if, when you look at my earlier vlogs, I have like this like short little opening thing I used to do. And the reason why I did that was because I wanted to share the pictures that I took. Um, I like taking pictures and this was kind of my own way to sharing but I felt like I was being too childish, so I just cut that out. I just wanted people to know that I really do have this, and it's not a joke. But I, I don't know. Maybe I should have that back when I take pictures. So it's a way of sharing, or just, I don't know. I just, I'm tired of hiding. I'm, I'm still hidden. I'm 31 years old and hidden. And scared of the world. Something which is ironic. Because when I was 17. All I wanted was an independent life. Now here I am. Hiding in fear from it. I don't know what to do. Because. Hiding. Is the only thing I know. I don't know how to be out there. Doing stuff. Like plans. I've mentioned this several times. And blogs, but this is a real problem. <sighs> I don't want to waste my life anymore, but at the same time, I just don't know what to really do with it. I know I want to go back to school, but I know I can't stay in this apartment either. I, wanna, I just, I'm glad that when I did try to go back to school, it ended up didn't working out because I can't go. When I'm at a point where I'm living in a place where it's a threat to my mental health because it's making me want to stay in depression. It's making me want to keep myself um, depressed to the point where I want to go back to self-harming because to me, self-harming, I would like to go back to, but it's something I know I most, more than likely will not because I'm pretty much over it. I, I just need to get out. I need to, I don't know what to do. Here's the thing. For the time being, as important as school is, uh, I need to get my mental health first. I can't just go back to school with depression. Just like I can't go work at a job because of my depression. I've gotten fired over this. Target, Walmart, well, yeah, Walmart, sort of. Uh... Walmart, or Kmart, and Target, definitely. Because, um, like I said, when you're depressed, you get just don't care about living anymore. Because I didn't. All I cared about was my only ambition in life was to end my life, not live it. Now I'm in this weird, very slow transitional part where I want to abandon my previous lifestyle of trying to end my own life or at least hurt myself as punishment to someone who wants to live to the fullest I'm in that in between transition which is going to be a long one um I just life experience is the only thing that matters right now and because I've been doing this for many years just hiding in here <laughs> And it's a bad place to hide, trust me. All I want is life experience. And the more days and time passes by with me still with my social anxiety institute, or my social anxiety disorder, sorry, but there really is an institute for this, um, and a, my major depressive disorder, still a huge problem, I came to a conclusion that life experience is what I need. Um, yeah, and I was about to say doctor too, and that actually reminded me. This is another thing I should have been proud of yesterday, because before I even went on my walk, 
I call the clinic to reschedule a doctor's appointment so I can get new meds. I've avoided this doctor for months now. Um, or not the doctor specifically, just the clinic generally. And um, my the antidepressants I was on for like four or five months, and I did not notice no difference. I still felt bad as I did five months into it, and I'm going to the doctor's appointment on the 18th of October at 12, so I can get new a new prescription because uh, the one I'm on was not working. So I guess that's another proud thing. So at least little by little by little, pretty much by bits, I'm actually trying to do something to help myself. Ugh, it's just weird because I'm I'm fearing right now over a life, independent life I've always wanted in the first place, and I need to eventually start fighting my way. I'm, trying to find a way to get that life back. I know I don't, I know my entire 20s was a bust because I let myself run rapid and, and isolate myself. Um, I, I'm never going to be like everyone else. I'm, I'm always going to be an introvert. And generally, I will be a loner, but I think um, once I get out of Minnesota and just go out there and explore life a little bit, because that's really what I want. I want to leave Minnesota behind the history of being harassed by people constantly. Um, trust me, I've been hated here in such a way, it's surprising how much hate is in such a, com like, one community. And I've lived in many states, I've so I just... I need a, there's just some things that are okay, well you can't run from your problems, there's just some things that you need to, it's okay to walk away from, especially if it's wanting to make you hurt yourself. I want to end this chapter of being self-harmed, uh, or living through that type of lifestyle, my history here being harassed by people. Um, you can be harassed anywhere, but I, I feel like here is just different. Uh, because like I said, if you're not, when it comes to being in Minnesota, if you're not already in a clique, people not only do not want nothing to do with you, but they'll show you the hate to tell you that you're not welcome here. And trust me, I've been in at least 10 different states. Most of those states I lived in more than one city except for New York and um, in Ohio I lived in only one place there and trust me I've seen so much I've never experienced so much hatred in my life that I have by Minnesota so I unfortunately while I want to get away from a toxic environment I want to chase I want to chase for something, a new experience, a new beginning, a new environment, that's what I want right now. More important than anything, after isolating myself, denying myself life experience for many years, I think that's where I want to go right now, so. The walk was nice, but I think, and probably I'm going to need to stick to small stuff, because I know I can't just go out on walks every single day. I'll try to do it at least a few times a week for the time being, because I really was exhausted after that. I was too tired. Why I can't walk as far as I used to. I can barely walk two blocks, but I pushed myself enough. I even had to sit down and take breaks, but I did it. So, I'm going to have to um, do what I can, take it slow and gradually, and baby steps and work my way up from there but I think I should leave but I've been telling myself this for years so 
when I'm telling my when I'm telling myself leave for a new experience, chances are I'm gonna remain here because I don't know how to go for what I want. Only go for things that make me miserable because I feel like that's the only choice I have.